Welcome back. I suppose it's a pretty easy thing to say and conclude that the buddy movie is a well-worn paradigm, but it can be made brand new, joyful, and insightful with great writing, and especially with fantastic, incredible, touching performances. I'm so excited to have those two buddies right here. I think I, I, I want to be buddies with the buddies. It's Earl Nelson and Paul, depending on which journalist you talk to, Einhorn, Einhorn, or perhaps correctly, Einhorn. <laughs> the film is Land Ho. Gentlemen, welcome. So great to have you here. Right. Thank you for making the time. I'll pay you later. <laughs> Thanks for asking us. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Well, I guess first, in, in, in seeing the two of you together and seeing the, the ease and, and, of course, you, <laughs> let's keep it PG. This is a family <laughs> program, boys. <laughs> Talk about the beginning of, of your involvement with this project, kind of how you felt about buddy movie thing in general, I'm sure the script moved you, but also the, the meeting. Did you guys know one another prior to this, or this is first meeting? We met on the day we started shooting. Yeah. As shot, it so often happens. We shot 10 pages, which was kind of a pilot in Kentucky. Kentucky or West Virginia? Kentucky. Kentucky. Um, we shot for two days and then went back home and waited to see what happened. And no, so we, we, we just met on, on set, basically, and um, it was fun. <laughs> Obviously, you're seasoned professionals and, and, and gifted thespians, but is there, a, is there a conscious thing between, like, what you do as craft and, okay, we got, right, we're here, we got to do this. Okay, you guys be buddies versus getting to that chemistry as quickly as possible. I try to do it here, right? I just meet with yeah. you guys yeah. two minutes and then go. We're on, yep. but we want to show chemistry between all of us. What was it like for you guys to, to do that first two days of shooting? Um, easy, really. Yeah. I don't think we had a problem at all. You know, yeah. we were uh, we were cohesive right on the front end. You know, the um, Collins part is. Is it subjugated? Is that Colin a good is, word? Is him in the movie. My character's part is is a quiet guy, which is me. I'm very quiet. Um, and and Earl Lynn's part is as Mitch is is this big guy. So I, I've said many times, there's no room on set for two big guys. So right. the way the script was written and the way it was directed made it easy to to fill the role. See what people don't. You know, Martha wrote this thing. After she got us to say we were going to be in the movie, she hadn't written a word until she made sure because she wanted Paul because she saw him and she wanted me, and she didn't. They start. They wrote. She wrote the script after she knew we were going to go. Yeah, her and Aaron uh, had 20 pages, I think, the the the, the intro part in, in right. the U.S. Yeah. and then they wrote the rest after having shot that two days. Well, in the short time we've been together here at Park City Television, I can imagine that a writer would be suffused with excitement and ideas after spending some time with the two of you fellows. Yeah, well, they liked Iceland, and you know, having seen the film, um, there really are three characters in the film. There's Mitch, and there's Colin, and there's Iceland. It is, it is amazing how the humanity of the two guys sort of moves into that scenery. It's a beautiful thing. It, it brings a tear to my eye at certain times because it is a beautiful country. Really wonderful. Gorgeous country. Yeah. I haven't had the pleasure of being there, but I, I know from seeing visuals, I can only imagine what, like you say, the, the, the third character. Should we look at the clip? Do you guys know what the, what the clip is that, that we're setting up here? Or <laughs> should we just let the buddies do their thing? Just yeah, it's, it the, it's the ass shot. <laughs> Can I say that? <laughs> I think you just did. <laughs> Land ho. Well, the fun part about this was, I don't know if you saw it there, but uh, uh, Andrew, the, he actually took, uh, shot through that disposable Kodak camera, and I couldn't believe they could do that. And it, it really. That's what you saw. It really worked. It, yes. was, a, it was a great visual. You got the sense of the, what I was of the seeing. plastic and cardboard camera. There's, um, the guys ran that clip, I think, about a week before we came. And I looked at it and I thought, I'll 
God, yeah, we did all that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the time heals all wounds, you had forgotten that that was the I, case. Yeah, yeah. Actually, it's funny, you know, when you finish a shoot, um, it sort of all disappears uh, because you detach from it as much as you can. Um, and that, that reminded me of all the crazy stuff that we did. Well, I have to say that I, I never would have thought as I came to the studio this morning that I would be seeing uh, you two fellows recreating a scene from Dumb and Dumber, some of which was <laughs> shot right here in Park City, ironically enough. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, the, the snow scenes. Yes. Yeah. The On scene. Main Street, as if they were at the Sundance Film Festival. It's amazing, amazing how much, how many other movies and stores are mentioned in our movie. Jay. Yeah, yeah, it's it's got film references all the way through it. The one that uh, the one that uh, Paul likes is this beautiful big waterfalls. I mean, this waterfalls is just Niagara Falls looks like a creek next to this place. Okay, wow. and um, come on, Paul, what did I say? Uh, there's there's a line in it which has got such a beautiful visual references, and it doesn't get a lot of laughs, but. <clears throat> It's a huge waterfall, and, and you can hear it. And he leans over and he says, have you seen the last of the Mohicans, right? <laughs> that breaks me up every time. <laughs> it's, such, it's such clever writing. That is the most clever joke in the whole film. It, it goes downhill from there. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Fellows, thank you so much for coming. Thanks for having it's us. A pleasure. Uh, are you having a nice time at Sundance? Fantastic, yeah. It's having a good time, but it's beautiful. tiring. It is. We're, we're getting into the stretch drive here. Yeah, they're working us. Fan. They're working, working us pretty good. Going. I'm sure they are. Yeah. Well, it's a great film. Got to get it out there. Yep. You guys are the show ponies, so yeah. we got to do That's what we, we got to do. We just make That's right. Show just mules. supermodels is just all. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> Earl Lynn Nelson, so great to meet nice you. Nice meeting you. Mr. Thank you Welcome you back once again. Thank you. Best wishes for a wonderful rest of your stay and tremendous, ridiculous success with this film. And we'll see you again soon. Hope so. All right. Quick break. Yeah, quick break. We'll be back to close the show. Please don't go anywhere. It's in the can on Park City Television. Be right back.